Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll be reviewing and comparing Sling TV and PlayStation View. So again, these are two more of the big apps out there that can provide you with online TV. So you have online streaming for live TV, you have pre-recorded TV, you have on-demand content, movies, shows, and a lot more than that. So if you are considering dropping cable or satellite TV, or maybe if you're just trying to change providers and you don't know who the best one is, definitely stick around for the rest of this video. I'm gonna dive in and find the difference in the features, the difference in the channels, the price, and the DVR as well as another category for comparing these two apps so that you can decide for yourself which one is actually best for your needs. So the first category I wanna talk about is the price point of both of these because they come in very differently. So Sling TV is gonna have a cheaper base option but a lot more add-ons that you might want to include whereas PlayStation View will have more larger options with fewer add-ons. So with Sling TV, it's $25 a month for either the orange or the blue option or you can pay $40 a month and get a combination of the two. Now on PlayStation View on the other hand, if you're looking for one of the four main English speaking channel options you can get, they range anywhere from $45 a month all the way up to $80 a month. Now, of course, these include a lot more channels, as I mentioned, and you might need fewer add-ons then. So the next category I really want to get into is going to be the channels because, you know, along with pricing, you really need to consider what you're getting for these prices. So with PlayStation View, the first package is called the Access Package, which gives you $45 a month for 47 or more channels. You also get a five-day free trial to test this out if you to see if you like it or not. The next package up is $5 more per month. It's called the Core Package. This one gives you a five-day free trial as well, and you get over a 70 channels with that. After that, you get the Elite Package, which is $60 a month. Again, the five-day free trial, and then 93 or more channels. And then lastly, you have the Ultra, which is $80 a month. So that is a lot of money. That's gonna be more expensive than a lot of the cable or satellite providers out there but you get over 95 free channels or 95 included channels as well as several premiums that are included uh, as extra channels within this package. So uh, along with that, I wanna say that you have, you know, I'll scroll down here and you can see two, four, six, like uh, probably 11 different packages you can add on. And each one is anywhere from like $3 to $15 a month. Uh, and it might include different things like HBO where you can watch different movies or TV shows. Maybe you can add some sports packages. But overall, a lot of the channels you're looking for are probably gonna be in one of the main core packages that you can see above in the four different options. So with Sling, you have three different options, as I mentioned before. The first one is Sling Blue, with, which gives you 45 different channels for $25 a month. Now this is gonna be geared more towards a lot of local sports and regional sports channels like that, although you will have a lot of national channels as well. So if you're interested in knowing which channels are included in this, or honestly any of the other ones, I'll list them all in the description below, or at least link over to a website where you can find them. So secondly, you have Sling Orange, which is also $25 a month. Now this is going to only give you 30 channels though, and these 30 channels are gonna be more national channels. So you're gonna have a lot more of the bigger ones out there, and again, you can see what they are down in the description below. Now another discerning difference between blue and orange is blue allows you to stream on three different devices simultaneously, whereas orange only allows you one at a time. Lastly, you can do the combo of blue and orange for $40 a month and get over 50 different channels. The next category I wanna talk about is recording because I think a DVR is important on a lot of online streaming services these days because you might be looking to you know record live sports or record a TV show that you're not going to be around for or maybe you just want to watch things again later and regardless of what your what your reasoning is a DVR in my opinion is a very good feature to have and for that reason I'm kind of partial on this category towards PlayStation view which comes with the DVR included so when you sign up for any one of their packages they give you the DVR and that allows you to record up to 20 diff 20 hours of shows now you can record an entire series or you can set things to record anytime a show airs you're going to record it Sling is a little bit different because they don't actually give you the DVR right away. Instead, if you want to use a DVR, you have to pay the extra $5 a month, but they give you 50 hours of DVR recording space. So five extra dollars a month is not a huge deal considering that it's already a lot cheaper. So $30 a month is what this would end up being if you do you know, just a basic Sling package with a DVR. And this is still honestly cheaper than the cheapest of the options for PlayStation View. So the 50 hours is a big difference compared to the 20 hours that PlayStation View has. So that it is a nice bonus to have if you want to use Sling and pay that extra $5 to get the 50 hours of recording space. Now, another thing that I noticed is I wasn't able to find anywhere that told me, you know, how long you're able to keep these recordings. I'm pretty sure you're actually just able to keep them uh, indefinitely until you decide to delete them or until you run past your 50 hours. So once you reach hour 50, it'll start rewriting from hour zero unless you go back and delete other shows. So if there's a show that you really like and you really want to keep it and you recorded 50 hours, you might want to go into your account settings and delete some of the other videos so that it doesn't overwrite the one that you want. 
So as far as support goes for different devices, both of these are pretty even. Uh, they both are available on almost every media streaming platform out there. So if you're trying to watch on your phone, you'll be able to watch on Android or Apple, you know, pretty easily just by downloading their app. You can also watch on laptops. If you're using a Chromebook, you can download it there. If you want to watch on a web player, which is what I'm doing in this video, you're able to watch on any other laptop using just whatever browser you use right here is Google Chrome, uh, which I found works very easily with any of these apps. Uh, you can also use, uh, you know, a smart TV or any kind of smart TV plugin. So if you're looking at like an Amazon Fire Stick or a Roku or a Chromecast, it'll work very well with all of those. So overall, they're able to integrate very well with a lot of different media streaming devices. So category number four is the interface and the navigation. Now I mentioned before that Sling TV allows you to stream three simultaneous streams if you're using a blue package or one stream if you're using an orange. PlayStation View really shines here because they allow you to stream up to five different simultaneous streams. Now they have some rules about which ones can be in-house or in other locations, um, but you're also allowed to have 10 different accounts signed in at the same time. So here we are on PlayStation View, and as you can see, first off, it's a lot different from Sling TV, and across the top they have, you know, all these different trending on view is what it's called right now, and it's gonna show you all the different channels or shows that are on right now that a lot of people are watching. So obviously right now I'm recording this in the evening, and a lot of people are watching the nightly news. So they have some local channels, uh, they have some national channels, and they have a lot of other content um, all over in here. As you scroll down, you get to My DVR. Now, My DVR shows all the different shows or, you know, movies or whatever has been recorded to your DVR. And again, you have 20 hours of DVR with PlayStation View. Now, at the top of this little one right here, it says live because it's currently playing live. And then it also has a little yellow box that says new. And that's going to be anything that's been released within the past week or so. On the bottom, you see this little progress bar in red. And it's going to tell you how much of the show has already been shown and how much is remaining. And then, of course, you have this little red dot over there that's telling you that it is recording or it's scheduled to be recorded. So if you go down to recently watched, you'll see, you know, the local news that's coming on maybe tonight or tomorrow has a red dot next to it because that is going to be recorded. Now, as you go over, you'll also see anything that has maybe this other little box right there. It says on demand it means you can watch any of the shows, but not every single one of them, but any of the shows that they have uh, in their library on demand. And of course, some of them haven't actually aired yet. So you have to set those to record in the future whenever they come on the DVR. Now, one thing that I had a problem with when I used my DVR to record, uh, we, you know, one of the Rick and Morty shows that came on, you know, a couple days ago was actually after it recorded, I found out that it wasn't really a Rick and Morty episode. Instead, it was actually a 30 minute uh, just advertisement for Adult Swim. And I'm not sure exactly why that was. When you continue to scroll down, you'll see the sports tab right there. And as you go through, they, they categorize it. So you can see NBA, you can see college basketball, uh, you can see hockey. Uh, and of course, if it's sometime, maybe NFL if you're in season for that. And a cool feature I like about this is you can choose to show scores or not show scores. Uh, so I have it set to on, so it's going to be showing scores whenever a game's on. It'll tell me, you know, what the score is. So if there's like, you know, a bunch of football games going on at once, I can actually go and look and figure out, you know, which one am I interested in, which one is the closest game, uh, rather than opening up every single one and then choosing. The next tab over on here is channels. Now this is gonna show you all the different channels as well as, you know, again, the red progress bar to show you how far they are within a show. Uh, and of course you can see local channels, you can see national channels, whatever you signed up for, you're gonna have all your channels right here. You can also go over to, over to live TV. So again, it's a slightly different setup, um, but there it shows you different shows that are on as well as, you know, when they're live, what's new and stuff like that. So rather than listing it as channels like they did in the other tab, here it actually shows you live TV by what the shows actually are. And then as you go over here, you have a Guide. Now this guide is a little bit funky because they sort of switch the axis. So rather than having all the channels on the left and then on the top they have the time, here it's the opposite where you have the channels on the top and then you have the time on the left. So once you get used to that, it's, you know, it's pretty much the same thing that they're showing you, uh, just in a slightly different format. So when you actually go into the player, you can see that they have, you know, very simple controls here. You have a play pause on the bottom. You can skip forward or backwards a few seconds. Um, and the little red bar shows that you can pause for, I think, up to about five minutes. Now, you also have the option for a mini player, which is very convenient. You don't have this on Sling. And with the mini player, you can just put it down in the corner and you can continue to browse for other movies or shows or whatever you might be interested in watching. So here we are on Sling TV, just on my Amazon Fire Stick. I can show you later what it looks like on the web player, but essentially it's going to be almost identical to this. So as we go down, the first thing you have on my TV, so the first tab from the top tabs, you see all the different tabs up top here. Uh, so the first tab, my TV, as you go down, they have my channel. So you can choose a lineup of, I think it's five different channels you can choose and they'll all be listed here. They'll show you what's on right now. So if, you're, if you really watch the same channels every single night or every single day, you might wanna put those up top. You also have your recordings down here. You can see my DVR. You can see things that you started watching but didn't finish watching as well as your favorites the featured sports so if in those you're interested in sports that can show up right there and then as you go down this is where you browse 
browse features really start to kick in. So you have your trending shows, you have maybe like a full series that you might want to binge on. And as you go over, you see they actually have quite a few different series that you might be interested in. I know I saw The Simpsons over here a little bit earlier, and I think they had like all 233 episodes on here. So if you're interested in watching that, uh, it's all right here. And so again, as you go down, they listed very conveniently. You can go and look at maybe each episode or you can go over and find different seasons. And let's just say you want to watch any one season or anything like that. Um, you can actually go up and record this as well. So if you're interested in recording, uh, you can save all of the episodes or any new episodes um, to your actual DVR. So as we go over to on now, it's going to show you different shows that you might be interested in that are on right now. Uh, very self-explanatory as you go down, you can see, you know, they categorize each different show into to what they think might be news or sports or anything like that. Um, that's usually not where I do most of my browsing. Most of my browsing for different channels is going to be in Guide because Guide is where you see, uh, so let's go over to the grid look first of all. And the grid look, this is your classic channel lineup that you're used to seeing on so many different platforms out there. Where on the left you have, you know, all your different channels and then on the top axis there, your X axis, you have all the different times. Uh, and so if you go down, you can look at, you know, whatever channel you're interested in and you can go left to right and see different times uh, and see, you know, what's on at each time. And then all also, if you're interested in, you know, let's say you want to watch this show right here or this, whatever it is, uh, you can just click on it and when it opens up, you can actually choose to record it. So as I mentioned before, when you go to the top, you have the option to either look at this in the grid format, which is what you're looking at right now, or in the channel format, which is going to essentially have a scrolling bar across the top. That bar is going to show you, you know, each different channel as well as what is on at that channel, when his other shows are going to be on, uh, and as well as maybe what's on demand for that channel also. So you have a lot of different options there. And then I should have also mentioned a little earlier over here, I'm just looking at sports right now. You can also open this up and change the category and filter the channels so that maybe you're not just looking at sports. Maybe you're looking at entertainment channels. Maybe you want movie channels. Maybe you just want all channels. So let's go over to the top and just select all channels. And it's going to show you the entire lineup of all of the different channels. Another thing I like about Sling TV, which makes it even more convenient, is rather than filtering for sports, you can also go up to the top and go over to the sports tab, and they'll show you all the different sports shows or movies uh, or live TV that are on related to sports right now. All right, guys, so here we are on the Sling TV web playing app. Now, as I said, it looks very similar to the Amazon Fire Stick, uh, with the exception to this one tab up at the top, the Rentals tab, and I'll talk about that in a second. I'm not sure why that actually wasn't showing up on my Amazon Fire Stick. Um, so when you scroll down, you'll see a lot of the same stuff. It looks very similar to the other app, with the exception to, you know, right here, it'll tell you when things are live. Uh, so you have right there, it says on now, and then it tells you what it's rated, it tells you how long it is, and this little yellow bar right here is gonna show you, you know, how long or what progress it is through the show. So you know if you're jumping in in the end of a show or in the beginning of a show or maybe like how long the game's been going on, for example. And as you scroll down, you can see other things that are on demand. So if it tells you how many episodes there are, it's gonna be on demand. It'll also tell you if things are not yet aired, if they're gonna be airing soon. Uh, so you can see that with a lot of different sports things, it'll tell you when it's going to be on air. And then if you have the DVR, you can record it then. So now if we go over to the rentals tab on the top, so if you're looking to rent movies, you can actually do that within this app. And a lot of them are anywhere from three to $5 for a rental, um, or you can get HD for an extra dollar usually. And if you're interested in these, you can either rent them, you can watch the trailer, uh, or you can add, you can heart them. And so maybe if you want to watch them later, you can just like them now. And then if you're ever looking to rent a movie, you just know which ones you are already interested in. So which streaming app do you actually like better? Please let me know down in the comment section below. I want to know why you like one or the other. So please let me know which features you really like about Sling TV or which features you really like about PlayStation View or maybe which features you really don't like about either of those. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to click that subscribe button right there. If you want to see another video just like this one, click right there. And for my most recent upload, click right up there. You got three great options guys. Click on any one of those and I'll see you in the next video.